Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today I'll be watching Linus Tech Tips try and install the Steam package on Pop! OS. Let's see how easy this is. Any of this for now because the goal... So he's today. going to use the Pop! Shop. Clearly he's found Steam. Everything looks good. Hitting the install button now. Let's keep going. For part one is... Asking for a password. Good. Pick a distro, get it installed, and run it. I will definitely need... All right, what do we got here? Already I failed on a package. Failed to install install steam there may be a temporary issue or could have been caused by external or manually compiled software i wonder what he has done before trying to install steam is there a conflicting package that caused some issues or is it simply the repo is just not working correctly for this package right now steam. hopefully they hit the details let's go oh hit the details you're trying to install no you're trying to remove the following essential packages uh oh no pop desktop Pop session. Uh, let's see. No, dude. Uh oh. Don't do it. I've done nothing. Don't do it. Install that hard info. Don't do it. Okay, close. No. The last time I tried to close. Get out of here. Exact same thing. Exact same thing. You just install it. No. That makes me think that uh, for some reason he installed something manually that's causing this issue. But let's see. Close out. All right. Looks like he closed out. Went into uh, the terminal. Getting their hands dirty now. Pseudo apt get install steam. Props, props. Looks like he's also looking it up in the background. As you can see here, pseudo apt get install. Steam didn't work for me. So Steam didn't work for this person either from the software center. They just used, of course, we always say just use this, just use that. It's as easy as this, that. Let's see okay, what is going to happen here. Sudo app to get install Steam. That's yeah, the correct command. But let's pause here. Warning, the following essential packages will be removed. This isn't good. This is not good. This should not be done unless you know exactly what you're doing. I don't think uh, Linus right now knows exactly what they're doing, especially if they're Googling for the answer. Pop desktop, pop session, due to pop desktop. These are all going to be removed. This is his whole desktop environment. This is not good. And this and the phrase is, yes, do as I say. That's what you have to acknowledge. Yes, do as I say. Hopefully they don't do it. Type yes, don't do, do it. As I say in order don't to do it. Do it. Oh, no, no, it's yes, gone. Maybe it's all gone. Oh no. Having oh, there it is. That's what we were waiting for. So let's talk about what just happened here. So you don't make the same mistake that Linus did. Poor Linus, it probably wasn't his fault. The store should have made it easy, but it uh, made it hard for him. All right, so one warning to everybody is if you ever see yes, do as I say, this right here is a big red flag. Make sure to check and double check what it's about to happen right before if you have any warnings, errors, etc. You probably don't want to run this unless you're doing something manually and you know exactly what you're doing. Probably not Googling for a problem. We all make mistakes, but this one probably could have been avoidable. Not saying that new users to Linux would have caught this one. Probably not, honestly, but a warning. It's again a warning so you now know that yes, do as I say is a big no-no. Also, who knew that sudo apt install steam is equivalent to sudo remove recursively enforce it on the root directory and all of its contents. Just kidding, it's not, but it almost was. It pretty much deleted all of the desktop environment. And we'll check that out here in a moment. This shouldn't have happened. This is a fluke, I think, or there were some other conflicting packages that caused this issue that were manually installed. But let's go back to the video real quick and check out the aftermath. Absolutely no warranty. <laughs> so this is what you would expect. They have a console up, the TTY1 console, because the Linus uninstalled his entire desktop environment. It says, welcome to Ubuntu 21.0. 04, which actually this isn't that bad. He could very easily just install the desktop environment back. So GNOME desktop is what Pop! OS uses. He can install that over this and I'm sure Pop has their own GNOME desktop package. If he just would have known, it would have been an easy fix here. This isn't even a huge problem, just a simple mistake. I can see why. <laughs> Absolutely no warranty, you can see why, this yeah. This was a terrible experience. Uh, it was and pretty I think bad. that's where I'm gonna have to leave it for tonight because I found- All right, that's exactly where I'm leaving it too then. Uh, pretty funny to watch. 
Now everybody who's seen this knows what not to do here. Saying, hey. And this is all part of a challenge at Linus Tech Tips where they're installing Linux for a month and trying different challenges, I believe, weekly. The first challenge, so spoiler alert, was to install Linux and to install a game and run it, which both people did successfully. So it'll be interesting to watch how they progress throughout the month. Maybe they'll become Linux pros and maybe they're watching some of the Linux channels out there trying to get some tips. Speaking of tips, if you need any, make sure to check out my Savvy Tips Linux playlist and make sure to like the video and subscribe below. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.